to telescope size, aperture size, mm -hmm. uh, you're seeing an awful lot. Last year, made a CCD shot of a uh, calibrated globular, and we got down to 21st magnitude. Um, some of the stuff that you're, you're able to pick up on, on the, uh, with the CCD camera is, is actually literally rivaling stuff that some of your major observatories with telescopes four times this size are putting out. The, the images you're seeing in the 28-inch are, are uh, Fantastic. Of course, the altitude helps a whole bunch. The, the experience of it, being able to, to, to point the telescope, it's, it's quite an experience. believe the phenomenal image sizes that you get for these objects. I mean I looked at M27 in the scope up on Mount Evans there and you know the image fills the whole field of view and it, I mean you got to realize this is at 600x magnification. Amateur telescopes never reach to that magnification yet from what I calculate for this telescope you could probably go to 1200x magnification if you had exceptionally clear nights so mm -hmm. we're only operating at you know, half the potential. You have its potential, and you have image sizes that are just unreal. The other interesting observations it was very nice to learn how to control a telescope like this, how you have some people up on the observing deck and then people down in the control room. And I can't believe how, the, how rapidly the weather changes. I mean, 20 minutes you go from totally fogged in that you can't see a star to it's crystal clear. This is the second part of the class that I, was, that I took. Uh, I took the first one last quarter, which was all calculation and that kind of stuff, and this one's all observing. I get to look at the kind of stuff that I was figuring out last quarter. Learning about it in the classroom is nice, but being able to apply it and... Especially at a mountaintop setting. Right. It's you really nice. scenery, and you get to look at Denver every night. And the telescope is awesome. It's just huge and modern, and it's great, and you have great views of everything. Like, I've seen Saturn on the Chamberlain scope, and that was really good then, but seeing it last night on the uh, the Meyer Womble up there. And blows it away, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> it's just incredible. <laughs> plan on imaging uh, several cataclysmic variables and long-term variables, long-period variable stars, and tracking those. In addition to that, I was going to, or I plan on imaging uh, several extrasolar planets, and uh, these are two and three day period uh, variables. The actual observing is excellent. Uh, the CCD that we're using, ST7, uh, Pointing is good. The use of the, uh, uh, the software to guide the scope is a good experience, good training. And I'm hoping that the images that we get, uh, we can actually put to good use and report them to AAVSO. Uh, I look at the visit to Mount Evans as more than just a, uh, as an, uh, an amateur visit to a major uh, observatory, but more of the uh, if we can do some good science and actually report the results of it, that professional astronomers can use the results, then I'm all the more happier.
this has been the kind of experience that uh, anyone who is really halfway serious about uh, astronomy, whether as a hobby or a profession, would uh, very definitely look forward to doing. Looking through the 28, uh, I'll, that will be a memorable experience. The experience that you have up here with Dr. Stensel and the University of Denver is just awesome. That's what I imagine. In some ways, it would feel like being on a spaceship. I really love the 